So usually you want to make yourself a uh, belly cut across the bottom there. It's going to clean up your fillet. Cut just behind the uh, the gill plate, all the way down to the bone. Make sure you don't cu don't cut through it. You're going to twist and slice. Don't saw. Slice all the way down to the tail. Flip it over there. You have your fillet. You can. If your knife is sharp enough, you can just uh, slide it right through along the skin. You can see there's not much left on there. Uh, if you want, you can scale it first and then fillet it and leave the skin on there. It adds a little bit of flavor. You're going to flip over. You make the same cut across the back again, down to the bone, but not through it. Slice. Don't saw. And just run your blade along the backbone. You'll feel it kind of. You don't want it to dig in. You'll just feel it uh, slide along the back. Again with the tail. There's one. Toss him away. Uh, with the bluefish. Some people like the uh, the livers in the rockfish. You can make the same cut, maybe a little shallower. reach in there and pull that little sucker out. Make sure you don't get the uh, make sure you don't get the gallbladder with it, the little green thing. It make it taste pretty nasty. So again, turn the blade. You're gonna so uh, slice, don't saw. And if you feel it catch, just stop and start again. Way all the way down. Don't cut it at the tail. That way you have something to hold on to. After a while, you can do it a lot faster. If you want no bones in your fillet, Cut there, boneless. This is all you have to do for the uh, for the schoolfish. They're pretty easy to fillet. If you want something a little more challenging? You get a kelp or a black and yellow. And they have heavier rib cages, so it's going to be harder to cut through. If you don't feel comfortable skinning it with the knife, you can just cut the top layer all the way around with the knife. Get a grip or get some pliers. Get enough that you can get your fingers in there and you can, well, there we go. And you can pull the skin off. Also reasonably clean, but you're going to leave a little bit on there because, because, you know, it's not as fancy. Again, you cut all the way down. You can say it's a, sadly, a pregnant female. But they're not fertilized yet, so we're okay. Saw. Don't uh, or slice. Don't saw. That's what I meant to say. You can do the same thing on this side, but it's a lot more labor intensive. I prefer to use the knife. Male kelp greenling. These guys are a little different than the rockfish. Scaling them is a pain in the ass. So it's recommended to fillet. Uh, it's the same basic method. 
Cut across the belly. Cut behind the gill plate. And then turn your knife and work your way down the spine. You see it's got a whole different structure inside. You want to watch out, you got pin bones right here. They're a lot harder to, uh, to remove the, uh, the bones, but they are tasty, so you know, it's worth working around them. The uh, same skinning method applies here. Flip them over. Behind the gill plate. Turn the knife, and again, saw. Don't saw, thank you, God. Don't saw, slice. And if you can, if your knife is sharp enough, you can just slide down the whole way if you don't get caught on a piece of, you know, crab that it ate. But it didn't go through the main meat, so we're all good. Oops. Guys are a little harder to hold on to. Always want to have a glove. Because, uh, well, you no know one needs their hands torn up. As you can see, if it's sharp enough, it'll slide right through. You just gotta know when to stop pushing, and when to stop uh, slicing. If you slice too deep, you will slice right through the backbone, and then, well, it's always disappointing. And if someone's paying you to do it, they're not gonna pay you. You can see if you can get yourself to slide instead of uh, slicing or God forbid sawing, it'll make a cleaner cut. And as long as you stay close enough to the uh, backbone, you'll salvage more meat. Worst case scenario though, you can always rip that off and grill it or fry it and uh, pick at it with a pair of chopsticks or a fork or something. There we go. Thank you.